So we all know that the Black Ops 4 beta has finished not too long ago, but yet again this video may be considered a bit late coming out. Reason being, I did have this recorded before, but I really wanted to do it until after the beta was finished so I could get my final thoughts on it. Because there was stuff that was changed, tweaked and whatnot for the second weekend, so I thought it was only right to do it now. Am I a bit late on it? 100% I say there's about 100 YouTubers or if not even more that's made these types of videos so at the moment or so far anyway So yeah, I may as well put my own two cents in there So first thing I want to say about the bait is that First of all Treyarch doing it very well to actually you know get a lot of people playing Have the servers run very smoothly I did see some YouTubers have problems I'm not sure if it could have been on their end or it was just on uh, not Sony sorry Treyarch's end but when I seem to play my everything seemed to run smoothly servers no problem obviously the only thing I had a problem with was how long it was to get into a game but they clarified that so there wasn't you know too much waiting on the actual loading screen or the map or as far as I know that's what it was but they did change that for weekend 2 which I was very impressed with and not gonna lie I got a lot more games in and like one day and they did the whole beta last weekend and I'm not gonna lie, I did really enjoy it. I enjoyed the fact that they gave you a lot of new things to work with, you know, the tweak armor. Didn't really see a whole load of change with that. I think they're gonna have to do a lot more. But yeah, that's one thing I'm gonna say. The game flowed very well, the connection worked very well, everything just ran smoothly, lobbies ran smoothly, no disconnections for me at all throughout the whole weekend by any own actual internet. Here and there would have went out, but there wasn't any problems with the actual game itself, so I want to give Treyarch props on that, and it can only get a, get better when the full game launches. So yeah, it's not really a problem there. With the guns in the game, I'm going to say every gun felt right in this gameplay that I believe I am using. I can't actually see the thing myself. I'm just recording you know, commentary for the gameplay. But the gameplay, I believe I'm using the tree boost, the ABR223, I want to say. You know, that gun's obviously you know, solid, there are OP weapons in the game, but in my opinion, all guns in the game felt solid. They felt like they actually had a purpose or they had a place in the game. Score streaks, I think some were useless, some were useful. The Hellstorm, fairly decent, I'm not going to lie. The Cerberus was, or the Mantis, I believe they renamed it in this, because it is a fairly bit different. I think it only has rockets maybe i'm not 100 percent sure i can't remember. i never actually controlled it i've only actually got put it on the field you know that's not really it wasn't really the best the chopper gunner i think it was called that anyway uh the first weekend it was absolutely rubbish in the second weekend it was amazing the ac 130 first weekend it was good second in my opinion anyway in the second weekend it was good i don't think they needed the tweak and if they did or didn't Score streaks aren't too bad. The strike team, um, in, uh, in my opinion, is <laughs> insane. Not gonna lie, it is. I think it's two players that drop on the field, but their health is immensely. Like it's just immense. Like it's insane how much health they have. But I think it's to make up for the fact there is only two of them. Are they easy to beat? No, they are beyond strong. You have to get maybe like a full mag, if not half a mag, or full mag and another half of one to kill one. Or maybe that was just me. They might tweet that for the full game. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Because they were fairly strong. But I didn't see many people actually complaining about it. Which was a strange thing. But yeah. The score streaks seem fairly solid. Some of them do. Some of them don't. But I'd say they're 100% going to be tweeted for the full game. Especially if people complain about them. I did see a lot of people saying that. This is probably one of the laziest cards ever. Just because a simple reason was because they reused a lot of stuff now don't get me wrong the specialists some of them are reused some of them weren't some of them are new some of them have like they're the same specialists they just have different abilities would i call that lazy well when it comes to thinking of new stuff it could be considered lazy but i still don't think this is the laziest card you know people may make the argument oh yeah they didn't put campaign so it would have been lazy i just think I'm happy without a campaign, but if there was a campaign, I'd still go ahead and complete it because I've completed every campaign on every game so far. Except, I believe it was Infinite Warfare, and there's a good reason for that. A certain mission, my game glitched out and I couldn't actually get past it, so if I can, I'll go back to it and complete it just to say I've completed every campaign I've actually played. 
But yeah, I, the laziest card I wouldn't 100% aim at that because they're bringing a load of new stuff into it, they're making it the best experience on everything, they're also bringing out a battle royale mode, as you know, it's blackout. I think it's gonna be fantastic. The 10th of September is when it's coming out and beta. I hope, like, I just hope they give us like maybe a week, a full week of that because I'm not gonna lie, I'm really looking forward to it right now. I'm absolutely dying for it. And from what I've seen to see, Treyarch are really listening to the fans, and I think that's a very good way that they're pushing, you know, this community forward. Everyone seems to be involved with everyone or everything, even. And I just think they're really pushing it in a right way, in the, in, you know, they're pushing it forward by listening to them, changing stuff, fixing stuff, doing whatever is needed. Will this revive COD? There is a chance, will it, like, you know, obviously there's the likes of Fortnite, there's Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out, there's Battlefield, uh, Battlefield, I don't know which fuck Battlefield, it's just a Battlefield game coming out. But I can see Battlefield just getting wiped out of there, it's just getting, that's just, just may as well not even come out at this stage because first of all Red Dead Redemption 2 that could probably outsell Black Ops 4 but like I was reading some stuff online that some charts and whatnot that Black Ops 4 could be the best seller of this year you now I'm kind of hoping for it because you know I'm you know I'm a big card fan I think Treyarch could push this in the right direction I think they might do very well I hope he do come out on top and sell the most games because Come on, everybody has to admit it, Treyarch's probably their favourite at the moment from what they've done in the past and what they're still doing now, it's probably one of everybody's favourites, game developer, the English motherfucker, it's probably everybody's favourite, they, I can't string a fucking sentence together, Treyarch is probably everybody's favourite game developer at the moment. Can we get a fucking round of applause for that? Gee, I actually put a sentence together. If it was to give a straight yes or no answer to whether I think this game, you know, if you should buy this game or whatnot, or if you should pre-order, invest money into it, or just even you know, give it a chance. If I was to give a definite answer, I would 100% say yes, because, well, the one, I'm going to lick ass Treyarch again, just because of Treyarch. <laughs> you probably should because of Treyarch. If you like Black Ops 3, you'll definitely like this game. Not because it's any similar, but because Treyarch know how to make games. They know how to make card games, they know how to make... Or at least keep the fans interacted for the whole year. That's what Black Ops 3 do with me. Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. And I highly think this game will as well. If there's a massive mistake, you know I'm hitting that once again. I did in Black Ops 3. <laughs> level 300 and something. I went back to play it and I went up a couple more levels. But yeah, if I was to give a definite answer, you know my answer would 100% be yes. Give this game a go. If it's not your cup of tea, fair enough. At least you gave it a chance. But yeah, definite answer, yes, but if you've enjoyed this video, you want, if you want to see more videos like this, or just more content in general, don't forget to subscribe, and miss you all in the next video. Peace.